Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are here to uh, pick up a unit right now. I bought it for one and one specific reason only. It's a cold world, I say this all the time, but I love deceased tennis units, why? One number one reason I'm a businessman, and the fact is uh, they have the least chance of coming back in their unit and taking out the good stuff. You gotta think like a businessman when you're buying storage units, gambling, cal calculator risk, etc., etc. With further ado, let's go right now. Let's see what's inside. All right, why did I buy this unit? Simply because the person was deceased. That was the uh, one thing that I was gonna say was a dead giveaway. Why I buy it, but that's not a very good joke. I like the mattress. Three things I always say when you look in a storage unit. A man taught me this one time. My buddy who used to analyze my Persian rugs. He always said there's three things you want to look for. You want to see there's three important things a person should take care of. One, they should take care of their shoes. That goes on their feet. Two, they should take care of their kitchen stuff because they eat with it. And three, where they lay their head, their mattress should be in good shape. Right off the bat, it's bagged up and looks nice. By the way, I paid $225 for this unit. And then you see a nice dresser here. If you looked over here, you saw it was long, and you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. I like to pay at least 10 bucks a box, so that's 80 bucks. Mattress is probably 70 bucks. Dresser is probably 50 with the headboard. Maybe 150, 175 for the bedroom set altogether. It's a gamble. That's what this business is about. Anyway, I'm gonna move this unit right now real quick, take it back to my storage because I gotta meet a customer. Then as I unload into the storage, I will unbox it there in a nice, more, less quiet environment because, or more quiet environment with the freeway over there. Woo, all right, we're all loaded up. We're gonna go back to my storage, kick this off, go to the boxes and finish up this video and wait for my customer. So let's drive to the storage. All right, we're back. We met their customers. We got uh, this cleaned up. The aftermath of the $7,000 storage unit. We're gonna start putting the stuff in there, unbox it, and let you see what came in this little $225 unit. All right, we've got the bed set all set up. We're gonna take some photos. I haven't decided, I almost feel like I wanna keep this. This is a nice dresser. This will be kinda of cool. You got your TV up here. It's got a little mirror. You can check yourself out. Headboard I would've need. already got a bed, but it won't match my headboard I kept because I got a nice black headboard. Maybe I'm just gonna sell this set. Queen bed is nice. I, this has to be close to about $200 right here. I'm, I'm not even going to uh, hesitate to list, list it for at least $250 best offer. Nice shape. The only thing we got wrong here is right here. That might detour people, but I still think we can get $200. Bed is in great shape. Bed frame, everything. All right, now we got everything out right here. We're going to unbox. Time is precious. Time is precious. So I'm literally, this is what I'm doing. I got Grimes finds going on in the background. And I am... I'm gonna film my unboxing. First off the bat, we got this Dynex TV. Literally, I'll be lucky if I can get 20 bucks for this. Believe it or not, this is very out of date. Everybody wants smart TV and smart TV only. Let's go, let's see what we got here. Those are almost cool. I'll probably rock those. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Cool little beanie baby guys. Beanie babies. Oh, an alligator. I bought a storage unit found an alligator. Yeah, that would go over well. Is that a fire stick with the remote control? That's kind of cool. Okay, we got back brace. Sweet pea. And that's it. Close. 
All right, we'll set this up here. It's trying to be efficient. Okay, there's gonna go just one solid video. Oh, nice. Coat hangers. Clothes, okay. This is not looking very uh, exciting yet. Put the box up there. Okay. Oh, great. Stuffed animals. Nothing to see in there. Nothing. Interesting so far, right? Nice bedroom set still. Coat hangers. Um, literally, we're looking at a buck right here. That is a one dollar box of coat hangers. Oh. Hey, hey. Let's say we have some jewelry here. We'll set this aside. Go to this at the end. Purses, Native American style. Whoops. Hmm. A little bit of coolness here. Clothes. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Shoe dazzle. Look at those. Those are cute. It's literally just clothes. That's a few dollars at the Stockton flea market. The flea market has been dead lately. A lot of issues going on. I believe, to, in my opinion, it has a lot to do with the ICE program. And a lot of people are scared to come to the flea market. Which is basically probably most of our flea markets that we sell at. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is weird, they said it was a, a deceased man's unit. That's what they say. Got some uh, high heel work boots. Look at that. You're stunting when you're wearing those. Stunting. Don't take it personal. Turn that to the owners. Well. I don't know what to do about that because they called the family and the family didn't even want the stuff, which was kind of weird. All right. And that's a wrap on those. Got a bathing suit. That's cute. It's just close. And it's not even a guy's. It's a girl's. So that just adds mystery to this unit. Personal stuff to return. Let's go. Come on. Keep it coming. Clothes. Women's clothes. Women's clothes. So I'm guessing somewhere there's a woman involved in this unit. That's kind of cool. I like that. I think it's, I like, not like I'm going to wear it. But, you know. Who knows? Maybe I will. I don't even care. <laughs> Should know by now. I do not. Let's just adjust over here. Let's come in here right there. So pleasurable Uggs. All close. Crocheting needles. You get birthday cards. There it is there. That's kind of cool. Always got to check the card for money. Nope.
more personal. All right, that box is right. That's how we do these like that. We'll just keep on shoving them in the corner here. Okay. Young. Gangsta parking only. Others will get Jack. We'll give that to Uncle Michael. We got a pair of J's for our feet. Those are kind of cool. That's the second most cool item I found in the storage unit so far, but we're about to see if there's any jewelry in the jewelry box. Now, let's see what's in the jewelry box. Literally, this is what we're doing. We're unboxing and we're watching Grimes Fine's thing. That's how so much work to be done. Don't think there's nothing in there. But we got this right here. Looks like we got some potential here. Nice. That says 14 carat, but we're gonna have to have that tested. That says 14 carat, but I have to have that tested. I just. I can't promise that that is gold. It looks kind of funny, and well, that one sticks to me. A gruin. So no, not completely useless. A lot of cost and jewelry. This one's weird. Almost looks like rose gold. Silver. Nice crystal. Mm -hmm. Sterling silver. Murka. This looks like it has gold potential. But... No. I fibbed. All right. Oh. Geneva. Basically, that jewelry box was a, a wash. I think there might be two pieces of gold in there, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have them tested. They're not looking like they are actual gold. They look fake. One piece of silver to crystal. I think I'll get at least 200 in the bedroom set. Don't think I'll squeeze another 50 bucks worth of my time to get the other stuff to break even. But I'm not looking like this is going to be a good... Well, let me get... Let's not, let's not get carried away. We got like $20 in Jordans. Jordans are always nice. We do got the work... The work high heel boots. Let's not forget these. Those got to be eight bucks. I don't know. Nonetheless, nothing venture, nothing gained. They said the person was deceased. I'm always all in. I did not anticipate a deceased man to be full of a woman's stuff. That's why uh, profiling is not always the easiest thing to do. No matter what you do, it is a calculated risk. It is a gamble. It could be the most perfect looking unit, but it's not what it's supposed to be. And it could be the ugliest unit and it could be the greatest thing ever.